it is so easy to steal your car, it's almost laughable. If you've got a key fob with a push to start engine, your vehicle is like a sitting duck. Like a fish in a barrel, but in this case, the barrel is part of the gun and you're just hoping nobody pulls the trigger. That is, if you keep your key fob out all willy nilly and not wrapped in tinfoil. That's right, tinfoil. If you've bought a car made within the last decade, you probably own a key fob. You know, it's the little device that syncs specifically to your car and no one else's. Key fobs work by using a special signal to perform different functions, locking and unlocking doors, turning on the car alarm, even starting the ignition if you have a push to start. All those functions start with a 40-bit code that gets transmitted with the push of a button. This unique 40-bit code is what keeps anybody else's fob from opening your car. But acquiring that 40-bit code is surprisingly easy for hackers. All a hacker really needs to do is be near your fob with a cheap gadget and they can copy it. Using it and a friend, hackers can perform what they call a relay attack. They make your car think your fob is in range to perform tasks even if you're thousands of feet away and the fob is tucked in your jacket pocket. By copying your code and essentially amplifying the range of the signal, hackers can get easy access to your car without you even knowing. It's a futuristic version of car theft. You don't need to smash any windows or hotwire any vehicles. You just make a perfectly legal purchase on Amazon.com and now you're in the car stealing business. And as auto manufacturers are only making more and more high-tech vehicles, sneaking into the computers that operate them is becoming easier and easier. Think of it like your computer at home. You probably have antivirus software to protect it because it would be insane not to, but your car doesn't, and neither does your fob. So if you wanna protect your car from being stolen, you might wanna start wrapping your fob in tinfoil. It sounds completely ridiculous, but the science is sound. Your fob is always sending radio signals out in a similar way to the key cards you use to give access to certain buildings. By wrapping your key fob in tin foil, you're essentially creating a MacGyvered version of what's called a Faraday cage, or in layman's terms, an enclosure used to block electromagnetic fields. The idea is that you wanna limit the amount of radio frequency identification or RFID technology that your fob uses so that hackers can't get access to it. Of course, tinfoil isn't actually the best way to mask your fob's radio waves, but it is the most easily accessible. Better alternatives include Faraday foil or Faraday bags. These simple and oftentimes more stylish options inhibit the frequencies given off by your fob so that it only transmits signals when you take it out of that protective sack. The future of car theft isn't going to be a pretty place. In an ideal world, we'd be looking to auto manufacturers to stop these hacks before they even begin by making sure to deck out every system with the highest grade security software there is. But as with any industry, you don't always know how easy it will be for your system to get compromised until it does. So make sure to do everything you can to protect yourself from vulnerabilities before they happen.